Hello, all my favorite math people. Uh, I thought I would give you a little uh, videos here for 10-2, arithmetic sequences and series. Uh, this way you can always look back, you can double check your work, or you can, uh, if you need to pause and rewind something, because I know sometimes you go through class a little bit quick, so hopefully having a little video will help you out. Um, what we're going to do is for finding arithmetic sequences. Well, arithmetic sequences are whenever you have numbers that uh, have a pattern and they keep going, at, or as you go along, uh, they are, the difference between the numbers is by addition. So say you have like two, four, six, eight. Well, each of those, you know, and you keep going on and on and on. Each of those, to go from one number to the other, you're just adding, adding two. So that's an arithmetic sequence. Now you can also subtract two. So maybe you go from uh, 11, you know, nine, or actually let's make that eight. So you can subtract by threes. And so what you're looking for is you're finding a pattern here, which is subtracting three, subtracting three, and then you'd continue going on and subtract three. And <clears throat> that is what an arithmetic sequence is. So we need to use this formula that we're given here where a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. In this problem, your a sub n, that is going to be your first term of the sequence. Now your d is your common difference. So if d is our common difference, that would be these values down here. In. So these would be all of your common differences down here. Um, now n is just going to be any number, so if you want to find like your fifth number, your sixth number, whatever, that is your nth number. Let's make that a different color. So let's use this formula here and help us with example one. <clears throat> so example one here, um, we're going to find our twelfth term of the sequence 9, 16, 23, and 30. So if we're going to use the formula of a sub n equals our a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, then what our a sub n is, that's your n is going to be 12. Now we need to figure out what our a sub 1 is, which that is your first term of your sequence, which is 9. And then we're going to say your common difference. So your common difference is D. So to go from 9 to 16, you're adding 7. Go to 16 to 23, you're adding 7 again. And you keep adding 7. So your common difference is going to be D. So if we want to find out what our 12th term would be, we just plug all these values into our equation, or our formula. A sub N is equal to our first number, which is 9 on an A, plus 12 minus 1 times D, which is 7. So that gives us 9 plus 11 times 7. So we get 77 plus 9, which ends up and gives us an 86. So your 12th number of this sequence is an 86. And that's one way you can use your formula here. Now, um, <clears throat> B would be the same way. And you can tell it's just given to you a little bit differently in the information. But it gives you your A sub 1, which is here, your D, and your N. So pause the video for a moment and see if you can actually get the answer that I get. All right, so hopefully you paused the video. If you did, here is your answer of 104. So you would just plug these in. You would say our 11th term, because that's our n, is equal to 14 plus 11. Whoa, what is that? It's not a 71. That's weird. I have 11 minus 1 times your d, which is 9. So you get 90 plus 14 gives you 104. Same thing for c. See if you can pause your, um, see if you can pause the video and try your problem here. Uh, 
All right, so you should, if you're finding the a sub 18, so that means that n is 18, your a sub 1 is 12, and we need to find d, which is, well, to go from here to here, we're adding 13, so d is 13. Plug it in your formula, and we end up with a sub 18 is equal to 12 plus 18 minus 1, all times d, which is 13, so we're going to get a large number here. You should get 233. So do you get 233 here? Then you are golden. 233. And then finally, for d, you do the same thing that you did in your other problems. It gives you a sub 20, it gives you a sub 1, and d. Now, it doesn't give you n specifically, but it does say right here, a sub 20. Isn't that equal to a sub n, which would mean that n would be equal to 20. So if we're going to plug all these values in and go ahead and pause it, do your work, you should get the answer of negative 137. So that is how you find your nth term using a 